So how do you propose to mute it? Okay. And, and mute this. Audio line in. I don't think you have to mute. There's no audio coming from here. Wait, there's no audio. Oh, yeah, see you on mute. We keep it on mute. Which is what they did before using this setup, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, this particular cable we plan to buy another one. So we can get it to play this song. This is the only so one that we have. Audio from the computer, so it will play my music and stuff wherever we put it into. But it's not the box itself. So what they're going to say, so our cable directly plugged into this part right now. Okay. Which is kind of a weird cable to get. Yeah. So you know, we have um, yeah. you know, we probably have some magic things. Honestly, I don't think so. Uh, last yeah. time. No, I think before he left, this is the documentation that I want to make. And he confirmed, Mike, that this is all good. Alright. Alright, We are getting everything except for the microphone input. Even the uh, audio coming from the laptop that we are getting on YouTube. Okay, I'll well, just make sure uh, we watch the sound levels so that yeah. Yeah. Uh, feedback. Yeah, so here in the 
run out. Maybe this one. Way back, right? Only this one looks like a possible point of failure. Should the cables be laying on the controllers? You know, they shouldn't work. They're going to say we're everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, that's kind of hard. Because uh, it has to come back. Alright. Alright. Yeah. Oh, we got it. Is it the Yeah, this is going to be. That's what we're supposed to tell me. Good evening. I'd like to call to order the education committee meeting for October 11th, 2022. First step, yes, is the approval of the next recommended action. Approval of the September 13th education committee meeting minutes. Do I have a motion? Motion. Call for the vote? Yes. Yes. And yes, we have uh, no presentations this evening, but some words from Dr. Donna. Yes, uh, thank you, Ms. Mills. I uh, apologize. I know we are having some technical difficulty going to the outside on the live stream. Our technology department is working and has tried to clean in sound so that you can better hear uh, tonight's uh, board meeting and committee meetings. I'd like to take some time here to discuss with the community, the board, and the public present about some social media events, events that have taken place uh, recently where we have had to cancel functions that threaten the safety of others, and just uh, the blatant misuse of social media to pass information along that is not only threatening, but incorrect. Before I discuss this, I would like to uh, start with something positive and congratulate uh, Mr. Wilson Durfer, who are our business manager for the Vasbo Advocacy Award for Business Management. Uh, she received that award last week at the Vasbo Conference up in the Poconos. Uh, it's a tremendous award to receive personally. Uh, it talks that's about her dedication and and work in advocating for proper uh, business management. And with that, she also received to bring back to the district a $250 uh, stipend that will be going to our education fund uh, to, to support our school. So first, congratulations, Lori, and thank you. As everyone is aware, last Friday, we had to cancel football game and homecoming activities for our students because of inappropriate messages on social media that threaten the safety of whoever would be in attendance of that football game last Friday night. <clears throat> it was a credible threat that our local authorities are still investigating with our chief of police and we appreciate the tips that have come in and the information that we are being fed and we are rigorously investigating this to get to the bottom of these threats. We have been in contact with our neighbors in the downtown school district. I have been in contact since this event took place throughout the weekend, even as late as this afternoon with Dr. O'Donnell, the superintendent. Collectively, we are working together with our staff, our administrators, our teachers, and our students to try to put an end to this negative, threatening social media. We are joining our student bodies and trying to come to an agreement for not engaging in social media in a negative way. As we move forward with future competitions, not only with Downingtown West, but Downingtown East. We are looking to get our students, our teachers, and administrators to stand in solidarity against social media that threatens the safety of each other or other social media insults or negativity that tries to take the dignity of others. Our high school principal and our athletic director are working with their counterparts over in Downingtown 
to stand strong against this behavior and also combine our student bodies to perform some sort of altruistic behavior that better supports both of our communities. The social media has to stop the negative social media. Not just the threatening kind, but also the social media that makes negative allegations that are just untrue. The district was made aware of a comment that was posted on the Committed to Coastville website on or around October 1st. This post is concerning. It contains misinformation that we, as a district, feel responsible to clarify. The post indicates that the district appears to be misleading parents or guardians with the use of a placement waiver agreement for two students who were included on the September 27, 2022 school board meeting agenda. This comment follows a reference to the school to prison pipeline with expulsions. The facts are this. There are no expulsions included on the September 27, 2022 board agenda. While we cannot disclose specific information pertaining, pertaining to the contents of a waiver, the agreements were related to placements which were requested by the parent and agreed upon between the parent and the district to meet very specific student needs. The comment that was posted on the Committed to Coastville website is simply not true and is not based on the contents of the waivers. Those documents are confidential and not available for public review. Another comment included on the post is that the district is no longer using the word adjudications. That's correct. We are not using the word. We are using the word expulsion, which is the disciplinary action that has actually taken place and more clearly describes the contents of the agenda item rather than the word adjudication, which was previously used. As was presented at the February 23rd, 2022 school board meeting in a pupil services update, an expulsion is any exclusion or removal from school beyond 10 consecutive days. The presentation is clear to indicate that expulsion is considered only when the school principal is mandated to recommend it, or when the misbehavior poses a serious safety risk to individuals on campus or during school-sponsored activities. Students may not be expelled without approval from the board of school directors. That is the law. In that same presentation, it was explained that within the school system, the word adjudication simply means the process and final legal decision as agreed upon by the Board of School Directors related to a serious discipline issue and as required by the local agency law. The implication that the district is attempting to hide information by using the word expulsion in place of the word adjudication is simply not true. An expulsion is the action that is imposed through an adjudication. The post indicates that parents feel deceived by district administration who told them that they did not need an attorney or an advocate or representation when they met with the administration to discuss their child's expulsion. There is also a statement indicating that there were possibly two attorneys present at the hearing. In the February 23, 2022 presentation on student discipline, parent rights at a formal board hearing were addressed. The information clearly indicates that parents have the right to bring an attorney, their own witnesses and evidence, and they are permitted to question the school's witnesses. Parents of students who are assigned to a formal board hearing have at least three opportunities to determine if they are choosing to bring an attorney to the hearing. At each informal hearing, these procedures are explained to the parents. Parents are told specifically that they have the right to bring an attorney, though an attorney is not required. It is also explained that there is always an attorney present at the hearing to represent district administration and an attorney to represent the school board. 
who also serves as a hearing officer. Parents have two additional opportunities to seek counsel prior to proceeding with a formal hearing. When the hearing notice is hand-delivered to the parent at least three days prior to the hearing, the following statement is included. Your child has the right to be represented by counsel of your choice at the hearing if you so desire. You will have the right to testify and present evidence to the board and hearing officer and may call witnesses on your behalf. You will also have the right to cross-examine any witnesses who may be called to testify against you by the Coatesville Area School District. On the day of the hearing and prior to the hearing proceeding, the hearing officer specifically acknowledges that parents do not have counsel with them. If that is the case, the parents are told that they have the right to be represented by an attorney. They are given the option to proceed without their attorney or to reschedule the hearing if they would like to seek counsel. The district in no way behaved in a deceitful manner to any parent. We believe it is irresponsible for Ms. Lori Shannon Bailey to make statements regarding any student when all she is doing is passing along information that an unnamed person has passed along to her. These reckless allegations are incorrect. The Coast Area School District respects the right of our citizens to publicly comment on issues that are concerning to them. However, the district will not stand idly by when someone makes reckless and incorrect accusations that improperly impugn the integrity of the employees from the Coastal Area School District. Thank you. Moving on to agenda items. A, student nursing placements. Recommended action that the Board of School Directors approve the placement of CCIU students from the Practical Nursing Program at Coastal Area Senior High School and Coastal Area Intermediate High School as presented. Do I have a motion? Motion. Second. Call for the vote? Yes. Yes. And yes. B, Field Experience Placement. Recommended action that the Board of School Directors approve the placement of Gabriela Zamudio Flores, attended secretary at Kings Highway Elementary with Beth Ann Packmeister to complete her field experience for her school psychology program at Millersville University as presented. Do I have a motion? Motion. Call for the vote? Yes. Yes. And yes. C, student teacher placements. Recommended action that the Board of School Directors approve the student teacher placements as presented. Do I have a motion? Motion. Second. Call for the vote? Yes. 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 The cross pilot program, item D. Recommended action that the Board of School Directors approve one of the Coatesville Area Intermediate High School open pilot positions to be utilized for the Coatesville Area School District to begin a middle school boys lacrosse program. Funding to begin the program will be offset by a $6,000 grant from Dick Sports, approved at the September 27, 2022 board meeting, as well as a donation from <coughs> Coatesville Youth Lacrosse in the amount of $5,000 as presented. Do I have a motion? Motion. Second. Uh, any comments on this from anybody? It's nice to see the cross coming down, right? Where I don't is? know if, uh, or, I don't know. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Mr. Chambers in the audience, I believe. You want to address? I'm oh, sorry, I'm still sitting right there with the light. Could you just uh, <laughs> address uh, with the board uh, another activity that we're looking to bring down for students to participate in on the middle school level, please? Thank you. Yeah, see, uh, as you can see, the uh, proposal, and I've been working with Mr. Maloney in one of those open pilot positions to, again, increase the offerings within the school district to, uh, again, introduce yet another activity, another positive activity for students to get involved in. 
um, work with our community's um, youth organization, which is Coastal Youth Across, um, to hopefully introduce this into the district, provide an opportunity um, at those lower levels, um, this being specific to Boys Across. Um, I can say that we currently know of 25 middle school students who would likely participate. Uh, that's probably uh, on the low end. Um, again, in addition to that, this is going to be funded through those two donations and, and probably more to come. Um, we'll be using the Reesville Fields up at North Campus. Uh, high school boosters also expressed interest to contribute for uniforms, so that'll be another uh, contribution coming most likely here soon. And uh, again, it's an eight-week season. It'll be from early March to mid-May. Uh, six home games, six away games. That's the initial um, estimation of what we'll do. And then um, hopefully this is successful that we can then grow this into a uh, into another sport within the district for the following school year. And then we can look to expand that pilot into there is one other sport out there that we're looking that has a lot of interest in volleyball that we're looking into getting into the future. So again, it's a, it's a multi-year plan here. Um, currently, we are the only school district that does not offer boys across and volleyball into um, our athletics programs at the middle school level, which is why the reason for this also obviously to increase the offerings for students in a positive manner to, again, uh, impact the climate culture of the building as well as the academic performance of the student athletes. Thank you. Any questions? Uh, just a comment. I know that we have our uh, Coastal Area School District uh, Comprehensive Steering Committee, and as part of that is also the activity and athletic strategic plan, and we'll be leading part of that as well, which we take us into the next phase of this for the next few years, correct? Yes. You have to right on the committee uh, tomorrow evening. Right. And, and a lot of this work that you're doing, bringing these things forward, is, is an extension of that kind of work coming from that area, correct? Absolutely. I'm trying to uh, really reference our um, strategic plan with activities and athletics that was approved last year for our decisions moving forward into the future with athletics and activities. I know it's a, sometimes it takes a little more time than I would like it to, but I know that that's what it takes sometimes to make sure that's able to be sustainable for the future. But that's correct. That's certainly what I'm referencing going into those goals, those four or five goals um, of that plan, and to make sure that we're addressing each one um, as we move forward. Thank you. Yeah. So what's important is continued progress, and we're making continued progress on that plan. Absolutely. And again, like a, like a reference, I'll be providing an update on that plan tomorrow evening to the Comprehensive Planning Committee. Great. Thank you. Yeah, Just uh, another comment that uh, I feel it's appropriate to make. Um, there are so many positive things going on in this school district. We all need to have make a concerted effort to accentuate the positive. You know, not just the things coming off of this um, athletic and activity strategic plan and the, and the comprehensive plan and the work that's going forward with the Master Facilities Task Force, the work that our teachers are doing in the classroom with kids and the connections that they're making. We need to stop this negativity and we need to promote the positive. You know, just today I sat in a conference with uh, Senator Muth members of her staff, um, Cassandra Jones and uh, Mr. Pelaya. And on the 24th of this month, Cassandra Jones has been invited to go up to Harrisburg along with Mr. Pelaya to talk about the progress that our district is starting to make in regards to the things that we are doing in reading. We're also, on for that work, we are going to be recipient of some kind of money that will enable us to continue to do these things as support because of the good work that all of our staff are doing. Now they may be going up there to speak, but where that rubber sitting in the road is in the classroom with our teachers. And they deserve that recognition because they've been carrying that forward. And things that this district was saying three years ago that were negative around that, folks have listened to the teachers. And they have started to bring these things back. And, and there's evidence of that. And we have to turn this district around. Because I'll tell you, I'm, I'm getting uh, ramped up over this. And so I'm going to take a deep breath and step back. But there's perceptions out there about Coatesville. And I will tell you that those perceptions are wrong. And just like people that live in this community get fired up over those perceptions, 
So do I. And we need to share the positive, stop the negative, and help each other out along this process. Because there are times where we beat our own selves up. Thank you. Well, good luck in Harrisburg when you speak. Thanks for representing us and making us look good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, call for the vote. Yes. Yes. And yes. E, out-of-state field trip request, North Brandywine, recommended action that the Board of School Directors approve the out-of-state field trip request for North Brandywine Middle School as presented. Do I have a motion? Motion. Second. Call for the vote. Yes. Yes. And yes. F, out-of-state field trip request, Air Force Junior ROTC, recommended action that the Board of School Directors approve. The out of state field trip request for the Air Force Junior ROTC students as presented. Do I have a motion? Motion. Second. Call for the vote? Yes. Yes. And yes. G, K 5 ELA curriculum <clears throat> recommended action that the Board of School Directors approve the ELA curriculum plan for kindergarten through fifth grade as presented. Do I have a motion? Motion. Second. Well, that's impressive. I remember when we were sitting here with a dream to get it done. Thank you to the teachers. Thank you for your leadership for doing this. And uh, this is exciting. But this is important. Call for the vote. Yes. Yes. And yes. H, Service Agreement CCIU Gifted Consortium. Recommended action that the Board of School Directors approve the service agreement with the Chester County Intermediate Unit for the Gifted Consortium Tier 3 package for the 2022-2023 school year at a cost of $2,550 as presented. Do I have a motion? Motion. Second. Do we um, have any discussion on this one? Who's leading this one? The Gifted Curriculum. Is that Brenda? Ms. George? So we have joined the Gifted Consortium. We were part of it last year. And what they do is they provide basically consultation and training to our gifted support teachers. They work with us throughout the past school year to help us develop all of our uh, documentation and our evaluation procedures as we're moving forward with our um, gifted screener and increasing our services to our gifted students in, in the district. Thank you, that's important. That's good. Good luck with that. Thank you. Call for the vote? Yes. Yeah. And yes. Jay, better, oh, wait a minute. I. In an independent contractor contract, the Lincoln Center for Family and Youth Climate Coaches recommended action <coughs> pending legal review that the Board of School Directors approve a contract for two full-time school climate coaches at the Lincoln Center for the 2022-2023-2023-2024 and 2024-2025 school years at the cost of $416,000. Do I have a motion? Motion. Second. Anybody want to talk about the Lincoln Center? Ms. George should have stayed up here. Is this is the continuation of the project that we've and the work we've been doing? Yes, it is. It is a continuation of what we talked about last spring uh, when we met with parents and going forward over the summer. It's also part of making connections and relate, building relationships with students. Uh, it's, it's not designed to be punitive, it's designed to establish those relationships with students and their families and assist them through some of the struggles that they face. Uh, and it, it has proven itself here at the high school and we're looking to replicate that more in the high school here and also in the 8-9 building and eventually be able to bring that down into our other buildings. We have been getting good feedback from families and students who have participated in the program. Uh, so we're happy to see this a multiple year contract. Call for the vote? Yes. Yes. And yes. Jay, better agreement, Deborah Student Assistance Program. 
recommended action that the Board of School Directors approve the letter of agreement with Devro Advanced Behavioral Health for the Student Assisted Program, SAP, for the 2022-2023 school year as presented. Do I have a motion? Motion. Second. And is this a continuation of the letter of the Devro? Okay. Thank you. Call for the vote? Yeah. Yes. And yes. Okay. Proposed expulsion. 1000079999. Recommended action that the Board of School Directors approve the proposed expulsion for student 1000079999 as presented. Do I have a motion? Motion. Yes. Call for the vote? Yes. Yes. And yes. Uh, informational items, the enrollment report is on board docs for you to see. No old business, no new business. How about public comment? Thank you. Um, so thank you for putting the information about the proposed expulsion. Um, when you put information like uh, proposed um, waiver of placement or proposed placement or waiver, we don't understand what that means. So I'm glad to see that information not being on here. We understand proposed expulsion. We've heard it clearly from um, Brenda's uh, presentations in the past. So I greatly appreciate the fact that we can clearly see that that's here and we understand that that's going to happen to a student. So I greatly appreciate that. Um, the other thing is I appreciate the information um, to see our tax dollars being spent for the climate coaches. Um, I have uh, advocated for a student. This is the second year. Um, she has had a wonderful experience by the two climate coaches, which are no longer climate coaches, but she was having a really good year with those two um, climate coaches. I believe they were football coaches. So thank you, uh, board, for uh, the investment of our, of our tax dollars in the um, climate coaches because they are making a difference. Thank you. And thank you. Our next meeting is Tuesday, November 8th, 2022. I adjourn the Education Committee at 6.27 p.m. Please call the order of the Finance Committee uh, for October 11, 2022. First order of business is approval of the minutes, recommended action approval of the September 13, 2022 Finance Committee meeting minutes. So I have a motion. Motion. Second. And we'll call for a vote. Yes. 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 Seeing <clears throat> we don't have any presentations, so we'll jump into agenda items. Letter A, financial statements, recommended action for the school directors to approve the financial statements, bills, payables list as presented. Do we have a motion? Motion. Second. Any questions or comments? Seeing none, call for a vote. Yes. 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 Letter B, 2022-2023 budget calendar timeline for events, recommended action for the school directors to approve the budget calendar for use in the 2023-2024 budget planning process as presented. Do we have a motion? Motion. Any questions or comments? Seeing none, we'll call for vote. Yes. 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 Letter C, 2023-2024, building budget allocations, recommended action for school directors approve the building budget allocations for 2023-2024, so the building principals and staff may begin the budgeting process as presented. Do we have a motion? Motion. Second. Any questions or comments? Seeing none, we'll call for vote. Yes. 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 Letter D, Dr. Jose Monasterio, independent contractor. Contract, recommended action, pending legal review that the Board of School Directors approve the independent contractor contract 
with Dr. Jose Monasterio for a one-year term from October 31st, 2022 to October 31st, 2023 to provide state-mandated physical examinations and sports physical examinations for students at a rate of $120 per hour as presented. Do we have a motion? Motion. <coughs> Any questions or comments? Seeing none, we'll call for a vote. Yes. 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 Letter E, Dr. Robert E. Schmidt, independent contractor contract. Recommended action pending, pending legal review that the Board of School Directors approve the independent contractor contract with Dr. Robert E. Smith for a one year term from October 1st, 30, I'm sorry, October 31st, 2022 to October 31st, 2023 to provide state mandated physical examinations and sport physical examinations for students at a rate of $120 per hour. Serve as instructor and consultant to the school district nurses at a rate of $40 per hour and administer an PPD test, tuberculosis skin test to volunteer in school activities at a rate of $25 per person, which will be paid by the volunteers directly to the contractor as presented. Do we have a motion? Motion. Second. Any questions or comments? Seeing none, we'll call for a vote. Yes. 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 Letter F, Sander Christ Schmidt, independent contractor contract. Recommended action, board school directors approve the independent contractor contract with Sandra Christ Schmidt, CSN, SNP, for a one-year term from October 31st, 2022 to October 31st, 2023, provide state-mandated physical examinations and sports physical examinations for students at a rate of $40 per hour as presented. Do we have a motion? Motion. Any questions or comments? Seeing none, we'll call for a vote. Yes. 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 Letter G, CCIU Practical Nursing Program Affiliation Agreement. Recommended action pending legal review that the Board of School Directors approve the affiliation agreement with Chester County Intermediate Unit. Practical Nursing Program, which students may acquire clinical experience at the health systems facility for the indefinite term as presented. Do we have a motion? Motion. Any questions or comments? Seeing none, we'll call for a vote. Yes. 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 Letter H, Vision to Learn Memorandum of Understanding. Recommended action for school directors approve the MOU between Vision to Learn and the Coastal Area School District for Vision Services to district students at no cost to the district, the students, or their families as presented. Do we have a motion? Motion. Second. Any questions or comments? See none, we'll call for a vote. Yes. 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 Letter I, Life Touch Service Agreement, Coastal Area Intermediate High School. Recommended action for school directors approve the service agreement between Life Touch and the Coastal Area Intermediate High School. For the school years 2023 through 2026, programs to be provided include fall individuals and classroom groups as presented. Do we have a motion? Motion. Second. Any questions or comments? See no one call for a vote? Yes. 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 Letter J, Life Touch Service Agreement, Coastal Area Senior High School. Recommended action for school directors approve the service agreement between Life Touch and Coastal Area Senior High School for the school years 2023 through 2026. Programs to be provided include fall individuals, prestige seniors, and commencements as presented. Do we have a motion? Motion. Second. Any questions or comments? Seeing none, we'll call for a vote. Yes. 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 Letter K, Life Touch Service Agreement, Cowan Elementary School. Recommended action to board of school directors approve the service agreement between Life Touch and Cowan Elementary School for the school years 2023 through 2026. Programs to be provided include fall individuals and spring individuals as presented. Do we have a motion? Motion. Second. Any questions or comments? See none, we'll call for a vote. Yes. 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 Letter L, Life Touch Service Agreement, Kings Highway Elementary School. Recommended action to board of school directors approve the service agreement between Life Touch and Kings Highway Elementary School for the school years 2023 through 2026. Programs to be provided include fall individuals and spring individuals as presented. Do we have a motion? Motion. Second. Any questions or comments? See none, we'll call for a vote. Yes. 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 Letter N, Life Touch Service Agreement, Rainbow Elementary School. Recommended action the Board of School Directors approve the service agreement between Life Touch and Rainbow Elementary School for the school years 2023 through 2026. Programs to be provided include fall individuals and spring individuals as presented. Do we have a motion? Motion. Second. Any questions or comments? Seeing none, we'll call for a vote. Yes. 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 Letter N, Fusanori. Family Scholarship Fund Agreement. Recommended action for school directors approve the scholarship fund agreement from Musonori Family Foundation. The purpose of the fund is to award annual scholarships to certain qualifying students who have graduated from district high schools and attend four-year accredited college or university full-time as presented. Do we have a motion? Motion. Second. Any questions or comments? 
See no call for vote? Yes. 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 Letter O, donation from Coastal Youth of the Cross. Recommended action for school directors accept $5,000 donation from Coastal Youth of the Cross to be used by the district's athletics and activities office. The purpose of this donation is to assist in funding the purchase of equipment and other start costs within the Coastal Area School District in an effort to begin a pilot program for middle school boys lacrosse. The pilot program focuses on the goal number two related to the board approved 2021 athletics and co-curricular activity strategic plan as presented. Do we have a motion? Motion. Second. Any questions or comments? See no one call for a vote? Yes. 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 <clears throat> Letter P. Rotary Club of Coastal Donation of Dictionaries. Recommended action for school directors accept the donation of dictionaries worth a total of $990 from the Rotary Club of Coatesville to be distributed to all third graders at East Fallowfield, Kings Highway, Rainbow, and Reesville Elementary Schools as presented. Do we have a motion? Motion. Second. Any questions or comments? Seeing none, call for vote. Yes. 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 Letter Q, Christy Hicks donation of school supplies to Allen Elementary School. Recommended action for school directors to accept the donation of school supplies from Christy Hicks in the amount of $140 to Allen Elementary School used for all grades as presented. Do we have a motion? Motion. Any questions or comments? Seeing none, we'll call for a vote. Yes. 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 Beaver Insurance Agency donation, Callan Elementary School. Recommended action for school directors accept the donation from Beaver Insurance Agency in the amount of $40 to Callan Elementary School as presented. Do we have a motion? Motion. Second. Any questions or comments? Seeing none, we'll call for a vote. Yes. 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 Letter S, Certainty LLC Donation. Recommended action for school directors accept the donation from Certainty LLC of excess school office and school supplies to be used district-wide as presented. Do we have a motion? Motion. Second. Any questions or comments? Seeing none, we'll call for a vote. Yes. 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 Letter T, U.S. Retirement Benefits Partners, ACA Reporting. Recommended action for school directors approved proposal with U.S. Retirement and Benefits Partners for a yearly fee of $2,000 with additional fees up to an additional $1,000 for ACA compliance reporting as required by the federal government. This is a yearly fee incurred to extract the data from our financial systems and report to the IRS as presented. Do we have a motion? Motion. Second. Any questions or comments? Seeing none, we'll call for a vote. Yes. 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 Letter U, creation of part-time school, uh, part-time police officers. Recommend action to board of school directors approve the part-time police officers position to be utilized on an as-needed basis during events and extra support for the school district. The hourly rate will be $30 per hour. Do we have a motion? Motion. Any questions or comments? <clears throat> Seeing none, call for vote. Yes. 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 Letter V, Human Resources Report. Recommended action for school directors approve the resignations, appointments, new positions, leave of absence, transfers, change of status, and corrections as presented. Do we have a motion? Motion. Second. Any questions or comments? Seeing no one call for a vote? Yes. 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 Letter W, Human Resources Report Addendum. Recommended action for school directors approve the resignations, appointments, new positions, leave of absence, transfers, change of status, and corrections as presented. Do we have a motion? Motion. Any questions or comments? Seeing none, we'll call for a vote. Yes. Yes. Uh, I don't see any informational items. Any old business? Any new business? And we do have one public comment before we share the vote. Good evening. Um, I was pleased to see the um, salaries of the employees that you hired this month. Um, pretty high salary for a guidance counselor and I believe a PE teacher. Um, I think um, I read somewhere that our teachers were previously uh, the lowest paid in the county. I'm not sure about that. I'm not trying to be negative, but the more we pay our teachers, I think that it's an investment um, for our uh, district and for our, um, our students. So uh, kudos uh, for uh, that, that investment. Um, on the other hand, um, I was not happy to see the increase in legal fees. Um, I don't have the number in my head, but um, I'm pretty sure it was um, in excess of $60,000. Um, I do recall seeing um, students beside one particular law firm. I think that may have been um, Katz, Williams, and Sweets, I'm not sure. Um, but in any case, legal fees takes away from money that can be invested in our children. 
um, especially the need for um, more climate coaches, for example. So uh, just a reminder that um, our students, of course, have increasing needs. We are the low wealth district, as everyone knows here. Um, so again, uh, thank you for your investment into um, our uh, bringing in quality teachers. Thank you. Thank you. Next meeting will be Tuesday, November 8, 2022, and I'll adjourn the Finance Committee at 6.40 p.m. Good evening. I will call to order the Operations Committee at 6.40 p.m. Uh, approval of the minutes, approval of the September 13, 2022 Operations Committee meeting minutes by uh, motion. Motion. Yes. 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 No presentations. So we will move on to <coughs> agenda items. Agenda item A with the Board of School Directors ratify the SA estimate dated 9 14 2022 for the replacement of the existing Jockey Pump <coughs> at cash due to a non functioning Jockey Pump seized. Estimate is $5,580. Price includes labor and material that Motion. Good. Any questions or comments? Hearing none, call for the vote. Yes. 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 Can I have a recommended an action that the Board of School Directors ratify the proposal of Eastern University Services Inc. to remediate Molten at Scott Middle School Auditorium. Total cost not to exceed $24,844.08 as presented. Motion. Yes. Is that a second? Is that a second? Yes. yes. Any questions? Hearing none, we'll call for the vote. Yes. Yes. And yes. Moving on to agenda item C. <coughs> Recommended action the Board of School Director verified the proposal for recent diversified services inked to remediate mold and perform duckling in classrooms at North Randy Wine Center Academy. The total cost not to exceed $33,867.11 as presented. Do we have a motion? Motion. Yes. Second. Any questions or comments? Hearing none, call for the vote. Yes. Yes. And yes. Moving on to agenda item D, recommended action that the Board of School Directors ratify the proposal from Eastern University Services Inc. to remediate mold at Cal Elementary. The total cost not to exceed five thousand seven hundred eighty-eight dollars and eighty-nine cents as presented. Do we have a motion? Motion. Yeah. Any questions or comments? Second. Okay. Any questions or comments? Hearing none, call for the vote. Yes. Yes. And yes. Moving on to the item B. The board will be recognized by the for Eastern University Services. To remediate mold at the better building, second and third floor offices, the cost not to exceed $8,065.48 as presented. Can I have a motion? Motion. Second. Question or comments? Hearing none, call for the vote. Yes. Yes. And yes. Moving on to agenda item F, recommended action of the board school director to drive a proposal from PBBJ. Inc. to install new installation and access panels throughout <coughs> Coastal Area Intermediate High School building. Total cost not to exceed $48,396.10 as presented. Motion. Motion. Second. Any questions or comments? Hearing none, call for the vote. Yes. Yes. And yes. Moving on to agenda item G. Board recommend action to the school directors approves the approved disposal of one 1997 Dodge Econ van and one 2004 Ford E350 RV van and one 2004 E150 Cup wagon. The towing and removal of fuel tank and all fluids will be offset by a scrap value. There will be no cost in addition for disposal of the entire vehicle as presented to our motion. Motion. Second. Question or comments? Any call for the vote? Yes. 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 Moving on to H. Recommended action of the Board of School Directors to prepare an emergency generator by Modern Group as quoted for a cost 
not to exceed $12,712.73.
uh, as accurate, but what you can see here in this policy in bold are recommendations from PSBA to change with this policy, uh, and we are just sticking with our audit moving through this process. Thank you. Call for the vote? Yes. Yes. And yes. The item B, policy 252, dating violence. Recommended action of the Board of School Directors review and approve the policy 252, dating violence as presented, and if approved, to move forward, let the agenda item be placed on the agenda of the October 11, 2022 special board meeting. Do I have a motion? Second. Any comments or questions? This is an existing policy, and it is just for board review. There are no suggested changes for this policy. Call for the vote? Yes. 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 Letter C, Policy 265, Educational Stability for Children in Foster Care. Recommended action of the Board of School Directors review and approve the Policy 255, Educational Stability for Children in Foster Care as presented. And if approved to move forward, that the agenda item be placed on the agenda of the October 11, 2022 Special Board meeting. Do I have a motion? Second. Any comments or questions? This, these are there are changes in this policy, and if we look at the assignment of this policy, where a student has exited foster care, we are working with our legal team uh, in this process, moving this policy forward. Uh, again, the changes that are recommended by PSBA. Thank you. Can we call for the vote? Yes. 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 Letter D, policy 350. Recommended action of the Board of School Directors review and approve the policy 300 civil as presented and if approved to move forward that the agenda item be placed on the agenda of the October 11, 2022 special board meeting. Do I have a motion? Motion. Second. Comments? Yes. Policy 300 fits into exactly what we were talking about earlier tonight uh, in, in regards to social media and really how we treat each other. Uh, this policy, there are no changes. This is just a review for the board. Uh, but it's, this is a policy that we should be looking at every year um, for not only our students, but for all of us. Thank you. Call for the vote? Yes. 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 Letter E, policy 301, creating a position. Recommended action of the Board of School Directors review and approve the policy 301, creating a position as presented. And if approved to move forward, that the agenda item be placed on the agenda of the October 11, 2022 special board meeting. Do I have a motion? Motion. Second. Comment? This policy is just a review, and it is a practice that we carry out uh, when we create new positions uh, in the district. Thank you. Can we call for the vote? Yes. Yes. And yes. Moving on to agenda. I have five informational items. These are all the ARs that go with the um, policy that we just were speaking of. Um, there is no old business. There's no new business. And uh, public comment, we have George Van Valen. Good evening. So I wanted to comment on the homelessness uh, policy. Um, I, mean, I don't have to tell you all this, but um, Parental abandonment is alive and well in this school district. Um, I've, I've talked about it a lot on social media. I'm, I'm sorry we didn't bring that up, Dr. Dunlap. Um, but um, as an advocate who's um, compassionate uh, for a lot of children who experience parental abandonment, um, there are um, nonprofit organizations who can partner with this district to support these, these children. Um, I know at least two families that have um, been kind enough to help these children. Um, so one of the challenges with this board is that there is there seems to be a lack of community connection or community partnership. I know with my nonprofit, I have not been allowed to collaborate with you all. Um, I felt like I had to beg you all to do that, but that's fine because I'm still very active. But um, it's, you know, children don't ask to be born, and parents, for whatever reason, are not always excited to raise their parents. I'm challenged with the family now. But just please keep in mind that there are people who are seriously interested in helping, and homelessness is rapid, even though uh, COVID seems to be on the out. Um, or oh, not on the out, but it's not as bad as it was. But just a reminder that there are organizations that indeed 
want to partner with this district to support our children who unfortunately are dealing with the parental abandonment. Thank you. Thank you. Our next meeting will be Tuesday, November 8th, 2022. I will call for adjournment of the policy committee at 6 55 p.m. Good evening. I would like to call to order the Coast Area School District Special School Board meeting for Tuesday, October 11th, 2022. Agenda item 1B, purpose of the meeting. Purpose of the meeting is to approve bills payable and any other matters that may come before the board. Agenda item 1C, meeting of the mission statement. The mission of the Coast Area School District, rich in diversity and committed to excellence, is to create innovative educational experiences which are funded by the taxpayers supported by the community, delivered by dedicated teachers and administrators to ensure all students will become responsible, contributing global citizens. Agenda item 1D, advisement. By notice of the President, board members are advised that all votes shall be regarded as roll call votes. The minute should also note the public notice was given for this meeting in accordance with Act 93 of 1998, Section 1. School board meetings shall proceed in accordance with school board policy. Madam Secretary, please call the roll. Rob Fisher. Here. Randy Here. 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 Madam Secretary, Mrs. Rush should be excused this evening. Here. 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 Here.
the school division pipeline does mean the same thing as the adjudications and exposures. And I want to help students, and that's why I have a nonprofit. So I apologize to you and the board if you felt like my, my post was not appropriate or it wasn't the truth. That's really not where I'm coming from. I was the person who went to um, surrounding municipalities and got about 15 uh, resolutions in support of the education funding um, lawsuit uh, resolution. So when you talk about dedication to this district, I am dedicated. Uh, again, I stand by my post. I meant no harm. I am committed to this district. I will always be. Thank you. Moving on to agenda item 4A, adoption of consent agenda. Recommended motion that the Board of School Directors approve the consent agenda items. Do I have a motion? Motion. Committee meeting action items considered routine will be enacted under one motion, unless removed for separate action upon board request. The purpose of the consolidated motion is to expedite governing board action on all consent items which are not held for discussion. Items that have been held for discussion by the governing board will be enacted upon at the time the item is discussed. This evening I would like to remove from consent agenda the following agenda items. Under number five, finance. A, financial statements. Letter F, creation of part-time police officers. Letter G, human resources report. And letter H, human resources report addendum. Also this evening, to be removed from consent agenda, under number six, education, we will remove letter H, proposed expulsion 10007. 999. Are there any other items to be removed from consent agenda this evening? Seeing none, Madam Secretary, call for the vote, please. Jennifer Schott? Yes. Brandon Brown? Yes. Andrew P. Farmer? Yes. Rob Fisher? Yes. Becky Harlan? Yes. Mary Ann Harris? Yes. Amelia Mills? Yes. Arvell Brown? Good. Motion approved. Chairman Finkbonner, number five, Finance Committee. Thank you. Letter A, financial statements, recommended action. Four school directors approved the financial statements, bills, payables, list as presented. Do we have a motion? Motion. Second. Any questions or comments? Seeing none, we'll call for a vote. Becky Harlan? Yes. Arvell Brown? Yes. Amelia Mills? Yes. Mary Ann Harris? Yes. Rob Fisher? Yes. Andrew Finkbonner? Yes. Jennifer Shaw? Yes. Brandon Rohn? Yes. Motion approved. Letter F. Creation of part-time police officers recommended action for school directors approved part-time police officer positions to be utilized on an as-needed basis during events and extra support for the school district. The hourly rate will be thirty dollars per hour. Do we have a motion? Motion. Second. Any questions or comments? Mr. Frankbon, I simply removed this for an appropriate Thank you. If no other questions, we'll call for a vote. Letter G, Human Resources Report, recommended action for the school directors approve the resignations, appointments, new positions, leave of absence, transfers, change of status, and corrections as presented. Do we have a motion? Motion. Any questions or comments? Seeing none, we'll call for a vote. Andrew Bigbonner? Yes. Mary Ann Harris? Yes. Brandon Brown? Yes. Arvell Brown? Yes. Becky Harlan? Yes. Rob Fisher? Yes. Jennifer Schott? Yes. And letter H, Human Resources Report Addendum. Recommended action for school directors approve the resignations, appointments, new positions, leave of absence, transfers, change of status, and corrections as presented. Do we have a motion? Motion. Second. Any questions or comments? Seeing none, we'll call for a vote. Mary Ann Harris? Yes. Becky Harlan? No. Amelia Mills? Yes. No. Arbel Brown? Yeah. Jennifer Schott? No. Rob Fisher? Abstain. Brandy Brown? Abstain. Motion denied.
Mrs. Mills, <clears throat> number six, education, agenda item H. Proposed expulsion 1000079999. Recommended action that the Board of School Directors approve the proposed expulsion for student 1000079999 as presented. Do I have a motion? Motion. Call for the vote.
paying these departments to do the administrator's job. Um, I am also extremely concerned about how your administration handles state to state in a timely matter, as well as their lack of professionalism with their investigation. Your chief of police extremely was extremely disrespectful, as in questioning my son today. Not only did it take him three weeks to address an accusation, but they also had East Gospel Police Department come to my home. My son and I were treated like criminals today, not getting any evidence of an accusation. However, your administration, if they had done their diligence in this three-week-old investigation, they would have seen their cameras that my son was in the appropriate class that he was called to be in at that time. Your chief of police, as well as Ms. Snyder, threatened indefinite expulsion, shamed, interrogated, and harassed my child, and then told us we were to leave and never come back if my son didn't identify kids in a photo, which I'm confident, after talking to an attorney today, that is not legal. What are your policies on the process, and do you find this to be an appropriate way of doing things? Where is the code of conduct that says my child can be expelled for not identifying other students in a photograph that was not taken on school property? I don't see that anywhere in your policies. What is your policy for when your chief of police lies directly to a parent's face? Chief Galbraith claimed that he had a body cam footage that he claimed incriminated my child during this investigation and interrogation. I asked to see this. He told me he didn't have to. However, I know that it is with my legal right as a parent to see this incriminating footage. And the district should comply unless the chief is lying about this footage. I have a legal right to hear the evidence that my school has against my child. Also, my child's been without a Chromebook all year, and he's trying to do credit recovery, and he can't graduate without that Chromebook. Again, any number 10 are there informational items. Any questions on any of the informational items this evening? <coughs> Seeing none, I will entertain a motion for adjournment. Second. We will adjourn at 7.12 p.m.